What's so fun about the whole story is understanding and using the language of the history of sitcom to tell this really intricate story about Wanda's psychology and her trauma. It was really important for us to understand that it was a single house. And so we were very careful to keep the geography the same. So it had to be recognizable. And yes, I know exactly what that is, but it also had, an, it had to have an element of how she inflects it with her point of view and her emotional attitude. And that singularity of the house actually is a really interesting way of sort of entering that idea. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. As much as these things are homages, what they really are are memories. You begin to understand why she's doing this and having to do with her own trauma, her PTSD. And so it goes from something really light and fun and it's Dick Van Dyke and then it starts to turn. I love the set just because it's a period I like, but I also love the optimism of that set and just how bright it is and the feeling it gives you. And then the things that happen, that, these threatening, odd things. It's just, the contrast is so strong. I just, I really love that set for that reason. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. It's such a fun idea that you see the set in the first episode and then in episode eight, the penultimate episode. You come back to it, and now it's this strange, difficult, threatening thing. And then the fun thing about that was we knew when we got into one, wider lenses, too, when we shoot that, and also a wider aspect ratio, you're going to see much more of the set in this very foreign way. You do not think about looking at a sitcom set like that. It's a little disquieting. We knew that's what would happen in a way, given the composition of the set. It's weirdly wide when you're on it. It has a very unrealistic feel. But when you shoot it on a different lens, it begins to feel more like you're standing there, and it gets strange. (laughs) 